Good morning, YouTube. Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Thanks for visiting. I wanted to uh, tell you about one guy that I know who is kind of, I don't know, undecisive, but quite anal at the same time. He's a guy who bought years ago some ugly stick lights, L-I-T-E-S, lights. The best rod that probably ugly stick ever made. Then he sold them. They had the cork handle, the stainless inserts and the guides. It was the precursor to, to what is today now the ugly tough guide. He loved those rods. He loved them. They were great for lure fishing. Hell, he could go bass fishing with them. He even did a video about them. But one was like medium, one was medium heavy or something. And he didn't like them. He didn't like the actions of them, even though he loved the rod. So he got rid of those. Well, then they brought out the intracoastal. Basically the Walmart version of the exact same rod, but without the guides with the stainless steel inserts. Well, he did a video about those. And he loved those rods. But then something switched and he got rid of those. Well then, the other day, this same guy sold some ugly stick catfish rods that he had. They, uh, he had kind of a surplus, I guess you could say, of those rods. Too many of them. And uh, wasn't using them. Had a bundle in his rod room. And it turns out that he goes on eBay and what does he find? He finds two medium action seven foot casting intercoastals. The Walmart version of the lights. Now if you're still following me and you haven't figured out who this guy is, you're looking at him. That's what I did. I had ugly stick lights. I didn't like them because I didn't like the action. Got rid of them. Got some ugly stick intercoastals. Then got rid of those and then had too many catfish rods, ugly stick catfish rods, sold those, and then I found these on eBay. Ugly stick intercoastals. And what are they? They're the perfect inshore rod for saltwater fishermen. At least they used to be. If you don't remember these, with the gunmetal gray, uh, real seat, the big rubber cap at the bottom, the premium cork, the blue threading, but not, not the stainless insert guides ceramic inserts ceramic these are seven foot casting medium action and these were salesman samples because every salesman sample ends up having that little mark right there see that squiggly line now I think that's a little burn mark here I am Back to my old used to be. I got my Ryogas on them. Oh, big fish on. Oh, man. Oh, man, he's smoking the drag. Big fish. Oh, right in the middle of my tutorial. 
I don't think it's a bull red or anything. Okay, now he's going in shallow. It's probably a stingray. Because all I was doing was fishing a piece of cut, <laughs> cut mullet. Yeah, it's not acting like no bull red fish. Let's see. I can't get no drag. Well, this is the reason I like the uh, the ugly stick lights. They're so classic. They're very classic. Staying on the bottom. This ain't no bull red. It's got to be a trash can lid. Oh yeah, it's a trash can lid. That's the trash can lid. But at least you got to see the rod in action. I figured. Cut bait on the bottom. I should have bought shrimp. I should be float rig fishing. But I didn't feel like spending any money on shrimp. Okay. Well, what was I saying? What I was saying was, is how classic these rods are for the saltwater inshore fishermen. I mean, you saw the action, uh, but they're not as parabolic as a lot of the other ugly sticks. Okay, they're more tippy. And then they got more of a graphite kind of bend to them. One well, of the biggest mistakes Ugly Stick ever made was I don't I mean I don't I don't really I can't pinpoint it. But for me, just getting rid of the classics. Go into those GX2s. Uh, getting rid of the old just black. EVA foam rods. So what did I do? I found these on eBay. I got two of them for basically exactly what they used to sell for at Wally's World. Alright, so you got to see what they're all about. I'm going to put a link to my initial Ugly Stick Light Shakespeare Ugly Stick's Best Rod video in the video description below. I haven't done anything on Ugly Sticks in a while because you know why? I was satisfied with the ones that I had. I've got a lot of Ugly Stick videos out there, but <laughs> just to reiterate, I had the lights. I got rid of them. I had these already. I got rid of them. And then I got something else. And here it is now. I don't know how many years later. What do I do? I go on eBay and I pick up two more. That's just a little bit of ugly stick intracoastal casting rods and how I'm back in the saddle again catching garbage can lids in the intercoastal waterway on chunk mullet. Yeah, the only people I know who like catching garbage can lids, also known as stingrays, are those Brits. You know why they called an ugly stick an ugly stick back in the day when they were first developing? Because if you're old enough to remember, ugly stick had sort of like ridges on them. And that's where they wrap them with a sort of a cellophane type uh, material. Most people, or most rod builders, when that comes off, they sand the blank. Well, back in the day, Ugly Stick didn't sand it, and you could feel it. As I said in the other video about the lights, just something about this blank and the way it's made makes it special. You know, part of me 
saw these on eBay and wanted to go back to nostalgia. I'm not a huge cork fan, but I can live with it on rods that I really like. And these are just so classic anymore. I figured I'd better get them before somebody else who doesn't appreciate them as much as me gets them. <laughs> Around here, these rods are just classic saltwater inshore rods. And that's why they call it an intracoastal. fishing the intercoastal waterway in Jacksonville, Florida, which is basically an inshore highway that all the big boats run up and down without, you don't have to go out into the ocean to go up and down the coast. And they spell it I-N-T-E-R coastal. And I believe where I'm at right now, it's I-N-T-R-A, coastal, intra, instead of in, inter. I don't, I don't know, but somebody can check on that for me. Look at this rod bed. You can always count on, a, on an ugly to bring in about anything. Literally, an ugly stick. Unbelievable what an ugly stick can catch. This is what an ugly stick can really catch really well. Especially for me, especially today. Look at this. It's not, it looks like a board, folks, but it's not. It's a giant chunk of metal. But I not only catch that piece of metal, I gotta catch it right in the center. Really gives me the fight of a lifetime. I count my ugly. Catch me anything. Look how pretty that is. Shakespeare, ugly stick, intercoastal, glowing in the sun. The only thing about these, they don't have a hook holder. I put my tie wrap with a eye on it. Hook holders. Everybody asks me about those, and all you have to do is go to Home Depot to the electrical department. Well, here's one fish that, no matter what, I always seem to be able to get me some whiting. All right, this hook ain't coming out. He done swallowed it. See how easy this works? I'll put the link to below and the best line cutter ever invented. The best line cutter. I'll put the link to below to the videos that I did about this. If you haven't seen it yet. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions below, you know, I always try to answer everybody's question and I, I reply to comments. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, if you're a fan of Ugly Stick, give her a thumbs up.